Hello, this is Attila Balog with Avaya Global Services, and today I'm going to show you how to manage announcements using System Manager 7. First of all, what is an announcement? An announcement is a recorded message that the caller hears while the call is in the queue, and it's often used in conjunction with music. Announcements are stored on special circuit packs like the TN750 board or these days the TN25018P board when talking about uh, communication manager circuit packs in G G650 gateways or virtual announcement boards can also be used when using a uh, media gateway like the G450 uh, or G430. The new Avaya media server AMS which is basically a software gateway is also supported in System Manager 7.0. System managers and site administrations announcement management are very similar in fashion, uh, but in case of system manager, you don't need to deploy any application on the local PC. Everything is managed using the central system manager server. I'll cover system manager 7's announcement management capabilities, but it is very similar uh, to what system manager 6.3 has to offer. So if you have a system manager 6.3 system, these steps will work equally well there. So let's have a quick look into the architecture. In the top right corner we have the system manager box. In the top left corner we have the Avaya communication manager. Avaya Aura system manager is using the OSSI protocol to communicate with uh, communication manager. Communication manager will use the proprietary IPSI controlling protocol to talk to the G650 media gateway where the 2501 AP TN well board is located. When uploading and downloading announcements to and from the 2501 AP board, system manager will signal the communication manager through OSSI to enable file transfer on the well board and system manager will use the FTP protocol to transfer the file over to the well board or download the file from the well board to the system manager. In case of a media gateway virtual well board, there are two possible scenarios. We can either use FTP or SCP for announcement management. In case of FTP, it will work in a very similar fashion to the TM board scenario. So first, system manager will signal communication manager to start the announcement upload or download process using OSSI. Then communication manager will enable the file system on the media gateway virtual well board using its H248 control link. Finally, system manager will upload or download the announcement file from or to the media gateway virtual well board using the FTP protocol. When using the SCP method, system manager will communicate with the media gateway using the SNMP protocol. System manager will tell the media gateway the IP address and the credentials of a remote SCP server. The SCP server can be the Avaya Aura system manager locally or any other external SCP servers. The media gateway will reach out to the remote SCP server and download the file from or upload the file to. So the main difference between the SCP and the FTP methods is in case of FTP, Media Gateway Virtual Well Board will act as an FTP server and in case of SCP, Media Gateway will act as an SCP client. For this reason, when using SCP, it takes a couple of additional steps as the customer will need to go ahead and set up an SCP server. So let's see how this works in action. First, log on to System Manager using a supported browser. And go to Inventory, 
synchronization communication system. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, three communication managers successfully synced with system manager. So we will use one of them, actually the last one, for this exercise. So close the inventory tab and go back to communication manager, call center, announcement. In the announcement window, click this arrow button and select the communication manager you would like to work with. I'm going to work with the last one and click the show list button. This will give us the list of announcements currently administered on this particular communication manager. The second column can have three different icons. You can see this icon when there is an announcement administered on communication manager, but there is no WAV file associated with it. This type of icon appears when there is a communication manager announcement extension administered with a valid WAV file associated with it. Third type of icon appears when there is a WAV file on the directory board, but uh, there is no communication manager extension announcement extension defined. So let's create a new announcement. In the announcement list window, just click new, give the announcement some name, let's say Avaya Mentor. Let's pick an available extension. You can use the magnifying glass to pick the next available extension. Or you can enter one. Select the type, it's going to be integrated. The source, we can either use an audio group, the ones that start with the letter G, or we can specify which board will contain the announcement. I'm going to pick the first gateway, media gateway, on slot V9. When done, press commit. Now we have uh, our new announcement created. You can see it on the first line of the announcement list. And you can see there is no audio file associated with it. So let's go ahead and record one using a 1x communicator. Testing 1, 2, 3. Let's test our announcement by calling the announcement extension. Testing 1, 2, 3. After an incremental sync, you can see the icon has changed to show that we have a communication manager announcement extension associated with an audio file. So the next step is to back up this particular announcement. We need to select it first, then go to more actions and select backup. The backup is running in the background. It is not blocking the user interface. So go to status to see the name of this particular job. You need to go to the scheduler, go to completed jobs. And as you can see the first on the first line, we have uh, the backup job, which has already completed successfully. When we go back to the announcement uh, management form, we can go ahead and download this announcement to the local PC. If you want to check the content of this file, just click on the file name. On the first line, you can see the announcement properties, which means you can check which board the announcement is located on and which extension announcement extension is associated with it and on the second line you can see the wave files name to download the file just select the line and click download this is going to be a compressed zip file so we can actually unzip it and in the zip file you can find the wave file you can even play it so the next thing I would like to do is restore this particular announcement. But before doing that, we need to delete it, remove it from the system. So I go back to the announcement list, select the Avaya Mentor announcement. 
and click the delete button. I will also go ahead and delete the associated audio file from the board. Make sure that both uh, the communication manager extension and the associated audio file will be removed. Click delete and our announcement is gone. After removing the announcement, we can test it using a via 1x communicator. So let me call the extension. And as you can hear, it's no longer there. So we're going to go ahead and restore the announcement using the more actions menu, restore option. I'm going to restore the latest announcement we just backed up. And I'm going to restore both the announcement properties and the associated WAV file. After refreshing the screen, we can see our announcement is back. Let's test it using uh, 1x communicator. Testing 1, 2, 3. It plays OK. We can conclude that the announcement has been successfully restored. If you want, you can backup all announcements using the backup all option under more actions. And here you have the option to select what to backup only the properties, only the WAV files, or both. I'm going to select both. And again, this is going to be a scheduler job, so we need to go to the scheduler. And after a few seconds, you can see that the backup all job has completed. We can go back to the announcement menu. And under more actions, we can now download it from the system manager system to our local PC. When you click the file name, you will see the content of this file, all the properties and all the WAV files. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. For more details or related information, please visit support at Thank you for choosing Avaya.